and return. Um, I think a possible sprained MCL. Um, Spencer Burford left with an ankle. Um, he didn't return. Um, McCaffrey left with knee, knee irritation, came back. Um, Debo with a quad contusion, he came back. Go ahead. Uh, was that the same sprained MCL for Elijah? No, a different one. Is it uh, preliminarily, is it feared to be as serious as the first one? No, it's not. Yep. How about with Burford, do you have any idea of the severity yet? If it's what? Um, and they said they thought it was a lateral one, which is much better than a high one. So, but it was it was too bad to go back in, though. That's all we know now. Shutouts hard to come by in this league. Think about the way your defense played. Oh, they were unbelievable today. Uh, I thought they had a chance to do well, but they even um, surpassed that. Um, you know, Dalton made a couple big throws. Two of those posts. Um, you know, the one that they got, um, getting inside, I believe, the five twice, and um, our D coming up. Um, with no points on that, you know, them having to go for it, they they were great. Getting the two turnovers, um, big time day by them. In the offense today, uh, it was it was a grind, man. I give a lot of credit to their defense. Um, we had an idea coming in that it could be like that, uh, but um, you know, I also think we didn't play our best either. You know, when you go against a defense like that, we thought it would be tough, um, but we believe we should have scored on those red zone attempts that we had. Um, a couple missed opportunities, a couple mistakes. A um, couple too, too many penalties, it seemed like. Um, but there, once you saw in the fourth quarter, once they came away with no points and some of the injuries our guys had, it was great that our guys just came, kept coming back out, grinded it out, and were able to finish with the ball in our hands. Frustrating is it when you get inside the 10, inside the 5, with all these weapons, and you can't get the ball inside the end? <laughs> it's always frustrating. To have uh, Jennings come through like he did, he's you know, not the guy that mostly gets talked about on this offense with all the players that you have, but. That the one drive and the way that ended with the touchdown, and then the last one to put the game away. How do you think? That was huge. I mean, to get down there on the third and one in the second quarter, he had a big explosive um, on the out, came again, I think, in the fourth quarter with that so he could run the clock out, um, had that real good catch on the touchdown. I mean, Juwan's clutch for us and kept us out on the field a couple times and got us those points. What was your view on Nick Bosa's sack on fourth and goal? And did you kind of just feel it was inevitable that he was going to get there on Bosa's? Um, I mean, usually it's a matter of time. I mean, that was a great time to do it. Uh, I thought he was getting close. He's always having to battle that every play um, with the chips and um, just those guys doing whatever they can to block him. But you know, he was moving all day, and that was a big time um, play by him to get that sack when he did. What was your view of the hit on Jimmy, the, the one that drew the flag? And will he need to get looked at further any testing or anything? Uh, yeah, Jimmy, I mean, he took some hits today. I, I don't have anything exactly on him, but I, I know he's sore than usual. Um, so we'll check him up in here and see how he is tomorrow. But, um, you know, he had a very gutty performance. I, I know he got hit a bunch in this game, and I didn't see the hit on that and looking down the field. But when I looked back and he was on the ground, you could tell it was pretty physical just by his reaction. And I thought there was a couple more on him in the game that um, I heard. Um, but, no, Jimmy was had a real tough game. Started warming up right after that. Was that it? Just maybe Jimmy might have to. Yeah, because it was maybe. I mean, he looked he looked banged up a little bit. We don't get to talk to him right at that time, but he was a little slow to get up. And right when that happens, we tell our guys to get loose just in case. And um, but Jimmy was able to stay out there and regain his composure. And um, I want to say we went down and got a field goal on that drive too. When you said you thought before that you thought it might be, we said it was a grind, and we thought it might be like. Why did you think? That? Uh, just because of how good they looked on film all week, um, you know that's a, you know especially getting some of their guys back, um, you know I was definitely glad Lattimore didn't come back, but um, getting 92 and 94 back make a huge difference, and uh, that's what we saw on them big time earlier in the year when they were all out there, and um, they've always been like that too, just going against Dennis's teams and Dennis's defenses. There were 28 times in the first half, and another aerial show for, for you was it did you know that going in or was it another one of those where the front was loaded again against the run uh it's a little bit of both um i mean they, they play very good run defense and good pass defense i mean i think they're third in the league in the pass defense but um you know they were coming out pretty stout against the run and we felt we had to soften them up a little bit they played a lot of zone so um hit a number of check downs with that got a couple big plays um and then in the second half, um, we knew we needed to get our run game going, um, especially watching the way our defense was. Um, there came a certain point in that game where um, I felt if we didn't turn the ball over, we were going to win. Seems like 
teams have no answers for what D'Amico Ryan's is doing right now on defense. What's that? It, it seems like teams have no answers for what D'Amico Ryan's is doing right now on defense. Is, would you say he's in the zone? How impressed are you with him? I'm as impressed with D'Amico as I always am. I, I was this impressed last year, and um, nothing's changed. In the second half, you ran down the sidelines towards the ref. What were you trying to explain a call? Or? No, I was just asking why you didn't call something that I thought I saw. Uh, what was the, uh, the play call in the fourth and one where Jimmy, was that a draw or was No, it was a pass to the flat to hit Juice or to hit Kittle. Um, we're supposed to have a little rub route on there and we didn't get that. The guy took Juice away and then we got B.A. in the back corner and we I think we had Ray Ray coming across. I didn't end up seeing that. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Once Jimmy didn't get Kittle in the flat, it looked like he saw an opening and just tried to run it. But you, no, it was a pass play. You pulled Jimmy over several times onto the sideline. You don't usually do that. Was that a... Earpiece thing? Or yeah, what? the headset was going in and out there, especially on the last drive. Um, didn't have time to change it, so it just gets a little, um, it's like talking on a cell phone with bad service. So there's a couple things I just want to make sure you heard me on. Well, the, uh, the, the, with the emotion of Monday night, short week, strange week, you'd almost expect that to show up more defensively where players are playing with, with emotion and running to the ball. And Does that make it almost more impressive that with all the disadvantages that the defense was able to play as well as it did? Um, I mean, I think those would have been excuses if we didn't, but um, it didn't seem like, I wasn't expecting that all during the week. I mean, we had to take it a little easier on the guys this week with just full speed reps, so we didn't do anything full speed till Friday. Um, but man, our Friday practice was the fastest, most aggressive practice I've seen on us this year. Um, so it was, I just, I wasn't, really wasn't worried about that from our guys. Um, I understood the situation coming in, um, but by the time we got to Friday, I um, felt like that was all over. Uh, with Mitchell out for maybe a couple of weeks at least, where do you feel you are as far as your backups behind Christian? Uh, I feel good. I mean, uh, I think JP came in there and did a really good job there at the end. I mean, they had every single person trying to no stop the run. And um, I mean, I think you guys saw how hard nosed he is and how he ran it and uh, was able to keep us out there on the field and not give it back and put the D out there again. Um, and then Ty, I mean, we, we've been wanting to get Ty up. Uh, he just has lost to JP um, with special teams. Um, so we'll see how Elijah goes. Most likely Elijah will be out a little bit. Um, it'll give opportunities for those guys. Hopefully Christian will be all right too. Thank you, three more. Was his knee irritation something that just happened today? Ah, uh, yeah, some of the day during the game. What do you feel like yeah, running out the final six eighteen of a game? That you make you feel pretty good. Yeah, real good. I mean, especially how hard it was to run the ball versus those guys this day. Um, you know, they were they were doing a great job stopping the run. I think you guys could see by our yards per carry. Um, and we struggled a little bit on third down, um, which and we didn't get any big ones. Um, so that whole time we're thinking of some passes to come back with, you know, if they score, um, but they never scored. Um, so you keep trying to control that clock and um, it was very great to not give that ball back to them because um, that was the first time I think all game that we were really, um, first time we were able to impose our will on them. Um, we just run the ball when they knew we were. Good? Thank you. All right, guys, thanks.